So step one is to take the assessment exam. This is gonna show you where you stand. So here's what you're gonna do. Do our assessment exam. This gives you a broad range of questions on a ton of topics. And from this, you're gonna focus on your top three weakest topics. So for most students, it's pharmacology and med surge, which are two of the top biggest topics students struggle with. Maybe the same is for you. But the third topic is technically a toss up between pediatrics, maternity, mental health, or something else. So by taking our assessment exam, it's gonna help you find and locate those top three weakest areas to focus on. Now step two is all about the study calendar. So I want you guys to print out our done for you study calendar where you're only taking about four to six weeks of actual study time. Now the job is on you here. You must commit to it. Remember this time is for you and no one else. So focus on you time here. If you do, you're going to pass the first time. So take it seriously. So print out the study calendar that we provide, mark off five days per week so you know which days you're studying. Then on those days, we're studying for about five hours a day and just make sure that you put this calendar in a place that you can see it every single day. I'd recommend actually pausing the video right now and printing out that study calendar just to get yourself started. Okay, now this is the funnest part here. Step three, how to actually study for your study day. So I recommend morning and evening study sessions just to break up the monotony of study time, really just to prevent burnout. So your morning sessions gonna be for questions only. So always start your day by taking at least 60 practice questions. I recommend taking no more than 100. So 60 is right around the sweet spot. Now there's two key points here on how to take questions, which no one taught me in nursing school, and I wish they did. So first, take 20 questions at a time, just straight through. So 20 questions in 20 minutes. Don't even look at the rationales until after those 20 questions. So many times I see students go take a question, look at the rationale. Take a question, look at the rationale, right? That's what we all do. Now the goal here is to get up to 60 questions in 60 minutes. And always the questions why. Well, think about it for a second here. You perform the way that you practice. On the NCLEX, you don't see rationales after each question, right? So you don't wanna train your brain to anticipate a short little break after each question on the NCLEX. This will eventually lead to brain fatigue during the NCLEX and also lead to poor performance. I see students do this all the time. So just remember, 20 questions straight through. We're trying to get to 60 questions in 60 minutes straight through. Now, after you take those questions, then you study the rationale for the ones that you got wrong. And also write down the list of topics that you got wrong. So you'll have a list of topics that you're gonna need during the evening session for content review. All right, for example, let's say you're taking a pharmacology quiz for the day and you did really good on blood thinners, but you did really bad on antibiotics. So what you're gonna do is you're simply going to write down all the antibiotic drugs that you missed. So you can focus on that in your evening session where you're gonna be doing content review. So you're gonna have a list of topics now that you're going to review from the morning session. So simply with that list of topics, simply watch the simple nursing videos from our library. And guys, we have a robust library of 1500 videos to choose from. And here's a big hint here. 80% of these videos are not on YouTube. And also you can utilize our study guides to review on the go, really wherever you are. So remember, this review time helps you to refresh on the content that you missed. Now, another big key point, I always love this one, always use one notebook. So I recommend to take notes, like little brief, small notes on the videos or study guides that you use to refresh with those key points and NCLEX tips that we state in the video. Now, I don't recommend using a bunch of flashcards or too many resources since most students get overwhelmed. Now, the really cool part about this one notebook is that when things start getting tough and start accelerating throughout the weeks, you can review those key points on the go and even brush up on old content easily, especially when information starts piling up. So let's just say you're three weeks into your studying and now you feel like you've lost information from the beginning of your study. You have that one notebook. So you can review those key points that you need to reinforce every single time. Now here's the best part. You get some freedom. Simply take this one notebook and go to the park with the kids, right? Or go to the beach with your friends. Go for a walk, go to the gym. This one notebook helps you study on the go. And 
you can always change the scenery, which makes studying fun again. Now as a little side note, for content and note taking, again, I recommend using our videos primarily. Use this first and foremost. And I only say this because our videos are heavily focused on the NCLEX. We handcrafted them to be fun and visual and even included some powerful memory tricks on the need to know key points. So the content you see here is the content you need to pass. Now again, be cautious with using too many resources. You can use those secondarily. Most students use three to five different resources to prepare for the NCLEX. For example, the NCLEX books that everyone uses, as well as audio lectures, and even some random videos on YouTube. You see, NCLEX resources have some major gaps, and trust me, I've seen all of them throughout all my years doing this. So I'm just giving you a heads up. We put the best of the best content in one place for you, so you don't have to hunt around for additional resources. Now, another big key point, I always love this one, always use one notebook. So I recommend to take notes like little brief small notes on the videos or study guides that you use to refresh with those key points and NCLEX tips that we state in the video. Now, I don't recommend using a bunch of flashcards or too many resources since most students get overwhelmed. Now, the really cool part about this one notebook is that when things start getting tough and start accelerating throughout the weeks, you can review those key points on the go and even brush up on old content easily, especially when information starts piling up. So let's just say you're three weeks into your studying and now you feel like you've lost information from the beginning of your study. You have that one notebook. So you can review those key points that you need to reinforce every single time. Now here's the best part. You get some freedom. Simply take this one notebook and go to the park with the kids, right? Or go to the beach with your friends, go for a walk, go to the gym. This one notebook helps you study on the go. And you can always change the scenery, which makes studying fun again. Now as a little side note, for content and note taking, again, I recommend using our videos primarily. Use this first and foremost. And I only say this because our videos are heavily focused on the NCLEX. We handcrafted them to be fun and visual and even included some powerful memory tricks on the need to know key points. So the content you see here is the content you need to pass. Now again, be cautious with using too many resources. You can use those secondarily. Most students use three to five different resources to prepare for the NCLEX. For example, the NCLEX books that everyone uses, as well as audio lectures and even some random videos on YouTube. You see, NCLEX resources have some major gaps, and trust me, I've seen all of them throughout all my years doing this. So I'm just giving you a heads up. We put the best of the best content in one place for you, so you don't have to hunt around for additional resources. Now, take a deep breath and just relax. We understand how stressful it can be, but rest assured, I've done all the hard work for you guys in the last 10 years doing this. So after doing this over and over for over a decade, my main goal and vision was to create a rescue resource that has everything you need all in one place. 